everyone welcome back to my channel happy wednesday and welcome to today's video so uh today i have an unboxing for you guys now am i on a no buy yes did i purchase this during my no buy also yes <laughs> so i picked this kit up um recently when craftably had a few new kits that they added to their website they had been waiting on an order for a bit i believe and they finally received it and added these images to their site now i follow them on instagram which is where i saw the announcement they were starting to preview the images and when i saw this one i knew i wanted to snag it so let's take a look it's been a bit since i've opened a craftably i actually think this is the first craftably i've gotten in a box if that's any indication of how long it's been um but i did have some points on their site so i was able to get this for a bit of a discount which is always nice um but let's go ahead and take a look i like their born in texas family owned little stamp there okay so since this is my first time Oh, there's the kit. Seeing their box, it is branded. You have a really nice image of the diamond painting. So this is called Beacon of Hope, which I am very excited to take a closer look at. Um, we have premium diamond painting. I like their box quite a bit. It's actually pretty sturdy. Um, we have some directions on the back, uh, some reviews, and then their customer service information yeah now they do i believe they have a storefront in texas which if any of you live in texas have you ever been to the craftably store because i'm very jealous <laughs> if you have been all right so we have a plastic sleeve they still do the tape i see <laughs> i'm i'm sure that is a manufacturer Thing versus a craftably thing. I'm going to cut along the seam here to try. There we go. Now, can I peel it? Yes. Perfect. Ooh, it looks super clear. Okay, I'm going to roll this back. Now, this is a poured glue canvas. So you can go ahead and roll it back to get it to lay flat. Okay, we have a sticker sheet, we have our toolkit, and we have our drills. Ooh, ooh, I think there's crystals in this one. I cannot remember what the special drill situation is for this one. So we will take a look. What is this? Features, soft back canvas, poured glue, max luster diamond drills, random cover binder, glitter pen, accessory sack, thin multi-placers, extra thick chart cover, logbook sticker, up to 80 colors, true to size images, licensed artwork, that's a big one, random washi tape tweezers, wax, basic tray, peelable color labels, and a foam pen grip, and then it has their guarantee. Don't be stuck with a project you hate. If you have any problems or decide you don't like it, reach out to us very nice and then it looks like we have some directions and some of the other items that they sell in their shop very nice Ooh, this is so pretty all right now this is a this is sizing on this kit oh it's in inches isn't it is it in centimeters on the it is not. Okay, so this is an 18 by 28 inch round drill project. I feel like they had the centimeters listed on their uh, Instagram listing. I can't quite remember what it was. I know this is pretty much just a Laura issue. <laughs> I do prefer my kits to be in centimeters, but I have noticed quite a few companies are moving to inches, which makes sense for those of us that live in the United States. Diamond painting is the only thing that I measure in centimeters. <laughs> It's like, I understand the sizing of a diamond painting. When somebody tells me it's like a 50 by 70, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. That's manageable. But when they're like, oh, it's an 18 inch by 28 inch, I'm like, ah, I don't know what that means. I feel like maybe this is somewhere in the 50 by 70 range. Let me grab 
on my measuring tape. We will figure this out together. I don't normally measure my kits, but yeah, okay, so this is 72. by a little over 46. So I, my guess was close, I guess. All right, so we have the dining painting. We'll come back to that in a second. We do have our sticker sheet, which is awesome. This is also a sticker here with the start and end date. Uh, it looks like we have 66 colors with one, two, three, four crystals and five ABs. So we will take a look at those in a second. Let's take a little peek at the toolkit. Ooh. All right, we have a purple tray. Ooh, a purple sparkly tray. We have a purple, a couple of pieces of purple wax. We have a squishy. We have a seven and a four placer. We have another four placer on a glittery pen. We have some purple tweezers, which I will say, uh, Craftably's purple tweezers, I do have a few pairs. I really, really like them. They are very sharp, however. We have some more purple wax in a little caddy two washi tapes. We have a Christmas one and then a really pretty floral. And we have a heart cover minder. I think that Craftably was one of the first shops that did the washi tape and cover minder thing. And like I said, we do have our drills, which have a sticker on them. So if you store your drills and your canvas separately, that is very nice. Before we get into the drills, let's take a quick look at the canvas itself. So at the top, we do have Craftably's logo. We have two legends, one on the top left, one on the bottom right, as well as a little thumbnail with the measurement of the canvas. And then on the bottom, we have the licensing information. So this is Beacon of Hope, which is a licensed stock photo from Shutterstock. And we have their guarantee. And then if you want to join in on their social media and share your project. Now this is, I'm really bad at describing the canvas, <laughs> like the back of the canvas. This is that like short lint felt kind of type of feel. I don't want to say felt because it doesn't feel like felt that you get at a craft store, but that's just what I'm always reminded of. Um, and then we have the scalloped edges with the poking. I don't really know if this is considered surging. I, I don't, I'm very bad with like sewing terminology, but this is supposed to help the canvas stop fraying, which I will say sometimes with this particular uh, material, you can see little pieces sticking up, but this actually looks really, really clean. I don't see any pieces or anything sticking up. So that is very nice. And then they did mention that they have a thicker plastic cover, which if you are someone who keeps the plastic cover on and like cuts your own sections, this is def definitely much thicker than some of the other brands that are out there, uh, which I do like. I feel like it holds the washi tape better and you don't have to worry so much about cutting through your canvas when you're trying to cut the plastic off. Now, in terms of the drill field, it looks very clear. Um, I do like how they're using a lighter symbol on the darker colors. Uh, now it does look like they have training wheels, which if you are new to diamond painting, let's look at this symbol right here. So we have this dark red and you can kind of see that there's a circle where you would place your drill. That's called a training wheel or a guide circle. People call it couple of different things, but it just is so that you are placing your drill in the middle so that your lines are straight. I am personally someone who doesn't necessarily love guide circles. Now these are quite light. I did pick this red because it's kind of stands out the most, but there's no like big black ring around it, which is what guide circles used to look like. So I don't think that these will be a problem. Obviously you have to lay the drills down before so you can get a, a good idea. 
Um, but these don't look like they will be too obvious. So even if you're a little off with your placement, I don't think it's really gonna stick out and hinder the project at all. But I did just wanna point it out. Um, I do really like the way that the drill field looks. It's looking super clear. I'm just kind of moving through the canvas a little bit so I can see the different colors. But like over here, all these symbols look super clear, which is very nice. I have worked on a few a few craftably kits um, since I've been diamond painting and I've, I don't recall ever having a problem with their drill field or clarity. I'm thinking back, I think I worked on I definitely worked on one last year. It was the like beachy, cluttery shelves. I can't remember, was it Seize the Day? I'll see if I can find that post review and I'll link it down below. I'm not remembering exactly what I said in that video, but um, I will link it for you guys to check out. So let's go ahead and take a look at the drills because I'm very curious to see where these special drills are located just grab some scissors all right Ooh, that color looks really pretty so it looks like craftably is in order is this new having their logo on the drill bags i feel like that's new so it looks like they go by dmc versus by weight which is my preferred i like when it's a train of drills in order it makes it so much easier to kit up and it makes it much easier for me because i can just pull this out and i think this is all of our special drills so we have four crystals one two three four and we have five ad's one two three four five perfect here's a little peek at the color palette i love this these couple of shades of this like tealy aqua color. Got some oranges, some dark colors, obviously. A couple of reds, very pretty. This is an underrated, col underrated color, 3787. I don't know why, but whenever I see that like army green color, I guess like an olive, I really like it. All right. Got those back in there. Let's talk about special drills. Now, for the most part, whenever you see on your inventory sheet, LZ, uh, generally means that it's a crystal. And like I said, we have four, and we actually have two bags of one of the colors, which is very exciting. So we have 351. Ooh, look at this green. We have 500. Sometimes it's hard to show them. I feel like Craftable used to come in baggies. Am I re remembering that correctly? I feel like they did. I love that it's in these bags now. These are my favorite. We have two bags of 939 Crystal, which is a very dark blue. It's probably going to come across as like black. These bags are really full, so I'm having a hard time getting them turned around for you guys. So you'll just have to trust me that it is a dark blue. And then this beautiful crystal here is 3821. Such a pretty color. So let's talk about the crystals first and then I will come back to the A, Bs. So the first crystal, 351, is this symbol here on the canvas. And let's see if I can find it. I do want to keep okay so I think these are clouds and I do see some of that crystal through this cloud up here which has that like pink hue in the background I'm seeing it mostly in this area so we have some here some here and then some up in this larger cl cloud there's not a ton of that crystal so I really think that that's the only place that it's going to be, but I think it's going to be really pretty there because how I am seeing the image is like, obviously we have the lighthouse and then we have the clouds and the sun is behind the clouds. So it's kind of making these really beautiful 
uh, colors around in the back. So that's just my interpretation. <laughs> I'm probably wrong. I tend to get lighting wrong when I talk about diamond paintings, but that's how I see it. All right, next up we have a really pretty green crystal, which is 500. And that is what I call the bow tie symbol. And let me see if I can find... All right, I'm seeing some of it over here. And I'm also seeing some of it down here in this area. Whoops, I just dropped something, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm also seeing some down in this bottom corner here. All right, next up we have the two bags of 939 crystal, which is this symbol right here. I feel like that's going to be towards the bottom. Yes, it's all throughout the bottom here. That's going to be really pretty, I think. It's all throughout here. So you have the upside down Y is the symbol I call it. And that is one of the ABs. So you're going to have the crystal and the AB all throughout the bottom, which is going to be really interesting. I'm very much looking forward to seeing how that turns out because I think it could go one of two ways. <laughs> it could come out really, really nicely or it could be just a lot. Um, but I'm very intrigued to see how that comes out. And then our final crystal is 3812, this beautiful green color, blue-green color. And that is the antenna symbol. Again, that's just what I call it. What do you call it? And I'm seeing that... I see some up here in this area up along the top a bit more i'm seeing some here oh, i'm seeing a bunch through here oh that's gonna be so pretty oh i can't wait i think this kit is gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be on my summer to-do list for sure all right let's talk about our abs now we have three bags of 310 AB, which is not my favorite AB. And when I was talking about the bottom having the AB in the crystal, that is where this 310 AB is. So 310 is a very strong <laughs> AB. Um, it has a lot of color. Um, some people refer to them as like bug eyes, <laughs> which I can see. But you, if you if you can see in the package there, they're very blue, they're very green. And I'm intrigued to see how these look next to that crystal. Because again, that is this whole bottom area. Not the whole bottom area, but most of it. Uh, like this big chunk right here. This is all that 310 AB with the pops of blue being that crystal that we just talked about. So very intrigued to see how that's going to look. I will be using the 310. I know some people tend to like sub out whenever they have a 310 crystal, they go for the regular drill instead, but I am very curious. So I will definitely be using the AB and the crystal in that area, just so we can see how that turns out. So that was our first AB. Next up we have 948. We have 307 or 3078, not 307, 3756, and 5200. So we already talked about 310. Uh, 948 is the star symbol on the canvas. I have a feeling it's going to be up in this area here. Yes. So I'm seeing it just kind of throughout these lighter parts on both sides here. So it's just kind of sprinkled throughout these lighter parts along these clouds, which will be very pretty. Next up we have 3078, which is one of the dumbbell symbols. <laughs> it's always so fun to hear what people call different symbols. Uh, and I am seeing that kind of along the same area, uh, those, these two colors, the pinky, peach, and the yellow are going to kind of 
be right next to each other to bring like the the light look to those clouds which would be very pretty next up is 3756 which is this symbol which i call the little carrot because when you were a kid and you had to like add in a word to a sentence you would do like that little mark and then write it above it <laughs> and we always called that a carrot in ela uh let's see where do i see that one Oh, I see a bunch of the stars down here as well. Um, okay, I'm seeing some of that in the water here. Uh, so kind of where you might potentially see like a wave crest, I'm seeing some of those little arrows. There's not a ton in this bag, so that could potentially be the only spot that I see it. But it's kind of sprinkled all throughout the water down here, which is really pretty. And then our final AB is 5200 this one and it is the circle symbol here and I'm seeing that down here as well kind of paired with the 3756 AB and I also see some around the lighthouse here so we are jam-packed with special drills so here they are again we have the crystals two bags of 939 and then we have three bags of 310 AB and then these other colors here. Now, one thing that I did not mention when we were taking a look at the canvas is color blocking versus confetti. This kit looks like it's going to be pretty confetti heavy. Excuse me. However, I do see quite a bit of potential for multi-placing. So I think this is going to lean a bit more towards confetti but there are definitely some color blocky areas, which is great. Um, I like when we have a healthy mix of both. I do think this one's gonna lean a bit more confetti versus color blocking, but I think it'll be a really fun project to work on. And I think it's an absolutely beautiful image. So let me pull the box up one more time so I can give you a look at the canvas or the image, I should say really beautiful. I love everything with lighthouses and the ocean and the beach. So when I saw Craftably had this one uh, coming up for sale, I knew I wanted to pick it up. So there we go. That is today's unboxing. Again, this is called Beacon of Hope. It is legally licensed through Shutterstock. Um, Craftably sells legally licensed images, if that is something that you are passionate about, like I am. Um, legally licensed is really the only way that I pick up diamond paintings at this point in my journey. Um, I also remember this being a pretty fair price point, so I will leave a link to Craftably down below. I don't know that this kit is available. When I picked it up, they only had a few left in stock, so uh, definitely check out their Instagram or their website. Um, maybe they've posted something about a restock. I'm honestly not quite sure. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's unboxing. Uh, keep an eye out on this kit. I feel like I've been saying that a lot with some of my diamond paintings that I've been unboxing recently, and this is supposed to be the year of the stash, but there's just so many good ones coming out that I want to work on all the new releases. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's unboxing. Uh, I will be back on Friday, so hopefully you will come back and check out my February month in review, and I will see you guys then. Bye!